Hey everybody, Matt here from On Your Mark. Uh, the video you're about to see is uh, a video of Julie and I doing a quick overnighter out to Dupuy. Now we have definitely ramped up our bike packing list uh, last year. Um, the weather's been good. I mean, you just gotta take it when you can get it. Sleeping outside is not easy in South Florida, so uh, when the weather's good, you just just go check it out. Uh, anyways, you got any questions about these videos, or you need uh, assistance on where to go? Uh, maybe you need somebody to go with you. Uh, give us a call. Uh, look us up online, oimbike.com, or uh, shoot us an email. We're we're easy to find. Right. Right. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi, Matt. Is it party time? <laughs> Looks a lot better. Yeah, always got to do a strap check. All right, can we keep going now? Fireball break. Like some like minded people. <laughs> what are you guys up to? On your way in or on your way out? Cool. Oh, yeah, so you, you're, you're polishing your gear. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Find out what I don't need. Cool. Well, let's, we'll let you guys get after.
Good morning. So yesterday, Julie and I busted out of work pretty early. Got a chance to take advantage of some of the last bits of the nice weather here in South Florida. And we rode out to Dupuy last night. Got here about, mm, I think it was about 7.30 and uh, met some friends who secured us a spot. I had a permit, so that was uh, kind of prearranged. And uh, yeah, had a good night's sleep. We're all kind of packing up now. Uh, believe it or not, there was a one man, two man, and a three man of the same brand and model here today. That's, that is odd. Uh, but take a good look around. Dupuy is a pretty, pretty cool camping spot. Right over, right over Larry's shoulder over there is uh, the shower house. Yes, shower. Uh, it's right off of Canner Highway, which is off in that direction. You see the cars. So the road noise is a little annoying, but uh, there's pretty good gravel coming in and out of here. So if you want a great overnight spot and you live in the northern end of the Palm Beaches, uh, this is it. This is one of the best, if if not the best, could be argued. But uh, we're gonna ride home today, uh, about equal mileage getting back. Uh, from our house is like 45 miles. So, pretty good, but we're gonna get after it. So Julie, what all do you have in there? I have my sleeping pad, um, the tent, um, and my sleeping bag in here. And this will go on. And what size bag is that? This is the Sea to Summit, I believe they call it the small. And I don't have it packed very well today. But eh, this will go. It's all inside. relative. So go right here. And that's your handlebar roll. And that is my handlebar roll. That is a tidy piece of kit. Yeah. You know, I owned it, it's waterproof, and it works. That's the tightly. key. You owned it already, and you figured out how to use it this is the on your handlebar. Important part. Well, that is, that is a key for a lot of people. My Rock Geist Bar Jam. Yeah, he calls cool. it the Bar Jam. It's like a carbon bar with a little like reinforced cloth harness. Uh, why don't you go ahead and load that up. That goes in there. This trap comes under. Little locking buckle there. With lots of slack. And then you yank that thing tight. And then you got these big flexible bungee straps that keep it secure. It's really a nice system. And that you can pull as tight as you want and it only gets more and more secure. And then I'll use my tie downs and I will position my solar panel right on top here. Right. Like a table. Yeah, there's even more room. Nice.
But I bet it was jumping last night. I know James is loving seeing me pound my knife into the concrete. But that is some sugar. Alright, we're back. How does Julie feel? Ah, Julie's cooked. Yeah, I'm pretty cooked too. But uh, everything's in one piece. The house is still here. Julie's bike is still in one piece. My bike is still in one piece. And we're still in one piece. <laughs> 